So, um, we're going to talk today about uh, how to use the byte screws. And that's the new product that Cat Implants uh, just uh, released recently. So, the purpose of the byte screws uh, is to help with the byte registration. Currently, when the full arch case is done, uh, we're asking customers to take the final impression, open tray impression, uh, send it to us. Uh, we would make the screw retained byte block <coughs> and the customers would have to attach that screw retained byte block and record uh, accurate uh, vertical dimension. Uh, send it back to us, we would mount the cast, so then uh, make the custom abutments, make the temporary bridge and send it back to the customer. This step can be eliminated with the byte screws providing that there is already a temporary bridge that is attached to the temporary abutments. So in order to register the byte, the temporary bridge has to be removed from the temporary abutments intraorally, <coughs> sectioned uh, preferably right in the middle, um, and uh, temporary abutments need to be removed on one side um, let's say it's going to be the right side. So once the temporary abutments are removed, we can attach the byte screws just on that side and keep the left side of the temporary bridge attached. And we can utilize it as the byte stop. Register the byte. On the right side, um, then remove the left portion of the temporary bridge. Um, use the byte registration material that we already have on the right side and uh, uh, do the same thing um, on the left side. Okay, so this way we end up with um, the byte registration that is right in on the soft tissue and the byte screws. So I'll go ahead and attach the byte screws on the left side. Okay, and that's kind of what you're going to end up with intro orally. And that's what we would receive in the lab <coughs> from the customer. Byte registration that has the imprints of the byte screws, the models, upper, lower, and the byte screws. Well, the byte screws actually don't have to be sent because we have the set uh, here in the lab. So once we receive the case, we will remove the soft tissue model. We can just remove it. No, gotta remove the byte screws first. So we would uh, create the soft tissue model, hard tissue model, then remove the soft tissue model, attach the byte screws. To the implant analogs. And articulate the casts using the byte registration making sure that the bite registration is not touching any soft tissue and that it's going to be right in just on the bite screws. <coughs> make custom abutments, uh, make a temporary bridge, um, send it back to the customer for a verification of the occlusion. Once the approval of the customer is received, we can uh, use the same file in order to make the permanent bridge. That's it. So when we are ready to place the byte registration 
over the bite screws on the model. It is important to remove the indentations left by the square sockets of the bite screws inside the bite registration. So just simply scooping it out, making sure that the surface is nice and flat uh, will help to accurately mount the casts. Uh, it is also critical to remove any interference from the soft tissue. So for example, in this area, the soft tissue is touching the bite registration. It is critical to trim it away. So any areas where it might be touching, like this area right there, it needs to be removed. So the bite registration is only riding on the bite screws. This way the bite registration is going to be accurate. 